Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm not wearing any makeup as you can see on my face except for like a little bit of mascara. Um, that is because today I'm going to be showing you guys how I've been taking care of my skin, um, what I've been doing, um, the two routines that I have for day and night, um, and I'm going to be sharing some tips with you guys that I have learned um, from the time I started having acne until now. I started having acne when I was in like maybe like grade 9. And my skin has gotten so much better. It's a lot more clearer even since the last skincare routine that I uploaded, which was I think like maybe a month and a half ago. So yeah, so I'm going to be doing all of that today for you guys, just sharing what I've learned. I'm obviously not an expert. I don't know everything about skincare, what worked for me, and I'm going to share it with you guys. And yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, if you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss a video. So if you want to see how I get my skin to look decent and um, some tips and tricks that I want to share with you guys, uh, just keep First, watching. I'm going to start out with my skincare. So everything that I do day and night. So this is basically an updated skincare routine, although I'm not going to be doing it on my face because I've already like cleansed and stuff. Uh, I'm just going to be showing it to you guys. And the reason why I decided to not wear makeup today was just so that I can show you guys what my skin looks like without like so much makeup on my face. And yeah, so. Oh, I already kind of spoke about it in my video, which was my current beauty favorites. I basically showed you guys my entire skincare routine, but now I'm kind of just going to show you guys um, how I use them, when I use them, and all of that. First thing I use, I use this once a day, and it is a black soap. I showed this in my last video. Um, this is the black soap that I use. It is from Amazon. It is the Amson Naturals African Black Soap. Um, so I use this once a day, and the reason why I use it once a day is because I find that my skin gets really really dry using it. It's such a drying product. For me, just for my personal preference, I like to use it once a day and I use it in the morning and I always like to follow up with a, with a moisturizer and that's all I pretty much use on my face in the morning. So I go in with this Amson black soap thing and I go in with the Ole Henriksen um, oil control hydrator. Um, this is great for oily skin. I do have combination skin. Why I find that if I use this once a day, it won't dry out my skin too too much but I feel like if I use it twice a day, it will dry up my skin a lot just because sometimes I am on the drier side, sometimes on the more oily side, you know, combination skin. So I like to use this just to, during the day so that I don't pr like produce all of oils on my face. I don't look all greasy and all of that. And I feel like it really does help with all of my oils and stuff. So I get this from Amazon and I get this from Sephora. I'll have all the prices and stuff down below. But this is um, not too expensive a product. It's not the cheapest. This is, um, I believe, like $13 for two bars that are like maybe this big. And they last you, they last me around like two to three weeks because um, black soap does melt if you don't store it properly, which I didn't know when I first got black soap. My soap was like, it kept melting and it was like, I don't know, it was like shrinking and I was like, what is happening? It's because you need to store it in like a plastic bag or in like a jar or sometimes I even store it in the bag it comes with if it's like the last pair, the last like bar of soap that I have. Right. The only thing I use for my face is um, facial wipes. So I just opened this pack so it's like brand new. Um, this is the Kirkland facial towelettes. These are my favorite wipes ever. I love to use them. I use them to take off my makeup. I use them to cleanse my face. Even if I'm not wearing makeup at night, I just like to put it all over my face and sleep and follow by. I use this all the time. This is not like just for day and night. I use this like in the middle of the day too. This is the Mario Badescu um, facial rose water spray thing. Um, this is amazing to use anytime you need to refresh your face. Um, if I'm feeling a little bit dry, I like to spray this. I like to spray this, you know, like whenever. And I like to use this first at night. So I always use one of these wipes at night, even if I'm not wearing makeup. And I follow with the Mario Badescu spray. And I just put some lip balm on and then I go to bed. That is all I do for my skin. The thing I like to use is tea tree oil. I don't know if I've ever talked about this on my channel, but tea tree oil is something that helps with my scars. Just put this on my scars and my pimples. 
um, when I get a pimple and I find that it really helps. The con with a tea, with tea tree oil in general is just like the smell is extremely, extremely strong. So I recommend using it in your bathroom because sometimes I'll use it in my room and my entire room will literally smell like tea tree oil. So I just suggest using it somewhere where you're not going to be sleeping with all this tea tree oil smell. Um, but that is just something I use. I don't use tea tree oil every day. I, it's just like when I remember to put it on my scars or whatever. But I do love this tea tree oil. This one's from Shoppers. It's maybe like 10 something dollars. Just using less. I used to use two, two different serums. One for day, one for night. I used to use like a different moisture. Uh, no, the same moisturizer for day and for night. I used to use just a bunch of different products on my skin and I feel like that really just irritated it. And I have been focusing on this skincare routine for maybe since like beginning of May. I have seen a lot of results in my skin. My skin is a lot clearer. Um, as you can see, I do still have some little scars, you know, wherever. But you know, scars go away with time. Now I'm gonna move on to Tips that I have for you guys that I have learned in my time of having acne and problematic skin. This is just some stuff that I've learned. So I write, wrote it on my phone. Well, I didn't write it. My sister wrote it because my sister is also... My sister has actually more clear skin than me. But she was the one that kept telling me that you should stop using a lot of products on your face. The tip that I have is to always change your face towel. So I like to change my face towel probably every day, if not every day, every other day. So every morning I will change my face towel just because it's so easier for it to get bacteria on it and that's how you can get some acne. I feel like it's a lot cleaner and it's a lot better um, if I just change my towel every day or every other day. If I don't remember to, to change it, it's okay. I change it every other day and I just find that it's a good way to just make sure you're not getting any bacteria on your face that was maybe um, all up in the towel. You don't know what's on the towel overnight. You don't know what can happen. So I just like to change it every morning personally. And yeah, so also another thing, also with the towel thing, I also don't like to, um, I like to pat my face dry and I don't like to like, you know, rub my face dry type of thing. What? Rub my face, choose that it's a lot more gentle on my skin and you know, we're trying to avoid wrinkles and stuff, so. Tip number two is to clean your phone screen. So, your phone that you have, it's really good to clean it just because when you're on the phone like this, when like anytime your phone is touching your face, there's so much bacteria on your phone that it will cause breakouts. And that is why actually I have some breakouts here. Um, I think it was because whenever I would talk on the phone, first of all, it would touch my face and it would just like cause so many breakouts there. So I think that's a good tip. Maybe like try to like clean your phone at least like once every day, like just like wipe down the screen with like something like a towel or like you know just clean your phone make sure like the screen is nice and clean so that there isn't as much bacteria on it and maybe try to avoid touching your like maybe try talking on the phone like this as opposed to this you know what i mean anyway that's just like a fun tip for you guys third tip is to wash your pillowcase so i like to wash my pillowcases um usually I try to once a week. Some people do it a lot more often than once a week. I like to clean my pillowcase whenever I feel like it's been too long and I need to clean it and um, just get a fresh set of pillowcases so that I there's not a lot of bacteria on it. And also another thing, um, if you don't have time to wash your pillowcase and maybe you can just flip it over um, to the other side until you wash it. You can put a towel. One of my friends, she always puts a towel on her pillowcase. You know, I think that those are just like some ways to avoid breaking out from the bacteria and whatnot. Tip I have is to probably the biggest tip that I have is to clean your makeup brushes. If your makeup brushes are not clean, the likeliness of you breaking out is very, very high just because there is so much bacteria on your makeup brushes. Touch another brush and it just contaminates the other. Um, I just suggest cleaning all of your makeup brushes. Even if you haven't used it, I suggest cleaning all of them. At least I try to do it once 
every few days to once a week and um, a brush cleaner that I like to use, I'll put it on the screen, it's the Cinema Secrets one from Sephora, I believe. I don't know if Amazon sells it, but I buy it from Sephora. It's like $30 and it's quick drying so you don't have to wait for your brushes to dry. Um, another thing, also clean your beauty blender. That uh, is very crucial. Beauty blenders are so prone to getting mold in them. Um, I remember once I was gonna use my beauty blender and my sister's like there's mold in that and I'm like ew how do you know first of all that's disgusting I've been using a beauty blender with mold in it um she cut it open and there's like little um holes in it and when you cut it open there's like black stuff it's actually disgusting but make sure you check your beauty blender search up how to know if your beauty blender has mold in it because it can um develop mold like so easily so I just suggest checking to see if your beauty blender has mold in it just you know to make it a lot more sanitary Next tip oh actually this is another big tip um drink water water is the key to everything your skin being radiant to having nice glowing skin I think it is key to everything and I think you should at least drink um is it like eight cups of water a day? I don't know, but I like to have my little Starbucks cup that is like very big. It's around like 700 milliliters, so I like to drink at least three of those a day just to make sure I'm getting my whole water intake and water helps so much with your skin. I can't stress that enough. You need to remember to drink water and also to watch what you eat, which is another thing. Next tip, I already kind of mentioned it in my water tip. It is to watch what you eat. Obviously, if you're always eating junk food and greasy stuff, it is going to affect your skin. And that is just from personal experience. I'm not a um, dermatologist. I don't actually know if that's true. But I find when I eat really healthy, my skin looks a lot nicer. It looks a lot more radiant. Um, and I just think that it helps a lot. Um, another thing is I personally chose to cut out dairy. I did not... I did not cut it out completely. I still eat dairy. I still eat cheese sometimes. I still eat ice cream. All of that. But I do like to, if I have the chance, I like to substitute my, um, like for example, if I'm getting a Starbucks drink, I like to get coconut milk. I like to get almond milk. I like to get soy milk. Um, I haven't had like real milk in, I want to say a few weeks. And um, that has also helped my skin. I think that dairy is one of the biggest things that breaks me out. So I just chose to limit my dairy intake and kind of um, slow down with that. Seventh tip that I have, seven, I think, I might be wrong, um, is to don't, not over exfoliate your skin. I know some people, um, they'll do a face mask every day. They'll exfoliate their skin every day, every other day. It's only good to exfoliate your skin once a week in my opinion i don't i am guilty i do not exfoliate sometimes i don't exfoliate for a few weeks because i forget and i just choose i just it's not that i choose not to i just forget to exfoliate um so the times that i forget to exfoliate are the times that i feel like my skin is not um losing all like the dead skin and like you know i'm not really my skin is not fresh, you know? I feel like exfoliating is so, so important. Resurface your skin, get rid of all those dead, dead skin things that are like disgusting on your skin that you didn't even know you had. I, for one, don't exfoliate all the time. Don't take my word for this, but exfoliating does help resurface your skin and just um, make it a lot more smooth and take out all those bad things on your face and your, the bacteria stuff. And yeah, okay, so last tip, very self-explanatory, um, know what your skin needs. Know what your skin needs, if you have dry skin, if you have oily skin, if you have combination skin, um, you know, like if you have problematic skin, if you ha have acne prone skin, um, just make sure you're buying the right products for what your skin needs. Um, obviously, what I do for my skin is not going to work for everyone, but I can just share with you my problematic skin, my problems with my skin is just I have acne prone skin and I have combination skin. That's all I can really share with you. But just know, you know, if you need, if you have dry skin, make sure you get a really hydrating moisturizer. Um, don't use a drying lotion. I uh, mean, what? Don't use a drying cleanser. Don't, you know, like just little things like that. 
Um, I think if you have acne prone skin, I honestly think black soap was what helped my skin the most. Um, it is really drying though, so maybe if you have dry skin, maybe it's not the best option, but you know, if you have like a dermatologist or something, what you should use, when you should use it, how you should use it, don't overuse products, don't underuse products, just try to um, be consistent. I also think being really consistent with your skincare routine is so important. Um, don't miss a day, don't sleep with your makeup, but just make sure you take off your makeup, make sure you clean your face every morning, make sure you clean your face before you go to bed. Just little things like that, um, I think make a huge impact in your skincare and I think I said everything. Once again, not a professional, I just said everything that I know for myself. If I said something wrong, I'm so sorry. I don't know, this is just what works for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, give it a big, uh, what? I already said that. Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a video and don't forget to, um, what am I talking about? Yeah, so um, I'll have all the products listed down below as usual. And if you guys like this video, um, let me know so I can do more skincare videos. I don't know what else I would really do, but if you guys want to see something else, um, leave it in the comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!